day everybody um, good to see you join us once again and if you are new please ensure to subscribe turn on the notification button so to be notified when we drop a video again so today I have been on um, I've been on Facebook and um, somebody dropped a big um, a picture of um, um, the stitch that we are going to do I'm not really sure what the name of the stitch is but um, I've heard and seen um, people call it um, the Zulu stitch I am today it's open for um, I'm open for corrections um, some call it the Zulu stitch I don't know what some other people call it but um, but I call it the Zulu stitch because that's what I heard um, um, when I started um, doing this stitch or when I started knowing about it okay um, without me talking too much because I want this video to be short as possible um, you just need to add your stopper bead before you start the project so I've got my stopper bead here ready for me I've done it um, I want it to be a different color so um, you are able to differentiate um, the amount of beads you'll be picking and the stopper bead so adding the stopper bead you just take it to the end of your thread uh, make a knot which we already know if you've been following my channel then you should know you just make one you just tie it once and then you leave it there okay then um, it depends on the size of the what you call it depends on the size of the um, of the uh, thing that you will be doing. Um, so the amount of beads depend uh, for any for any stitch, be it POT, be it brick stitch, the number of beads you're gonna pick depends on the size of the um, of the actual um, beading um, that you're going to do, or if it's um, um, a, um, a customer requested that okay, no, one mine small, then it all depends on that. Okay. But for this project, I'm going to pick up 19 um, um, blue, light blue beads. So I'm just going to pick up 19. So just um, um, watch me carefully um, as I show you what that 19 um, beads will do. So we count 15, 15, 19. Wow, okay. All right. Then we push it to the end. Of our thread just next to our stopper bead okay to start this project it's very important you need to um, take separate your six beads right so you need to start the project you take out six bead you go into that seven bead okay just like that go into the seventh bead now you need to pick up three pick, pick up three beads and then skip three what happens on the left happens on the right pick three skip three go on to the fourth bead okay all right sorry about that okay but because we are using a good quality thread um we get rid of the knots very easy okay so you do the same um, pick up three beads pick three beads skip three go into the fourth okay just like that and then now you pick up the last three pick up three again skip three go on to the fourth and then there goes our 19 beads finished okay turn your project so this is what you should have this is what you should have is eights you should have two eights that's your eight that's your eight you see okay so now um, turning um, you need to pick up four blue beads okay you need to pick up four out guy all the time now you pick up four when you started the you turned with eight or with six but now all the time when you get to your sides you will pick up four beads okay how do we do that watch me do it okay there we go so you've got um you've got the three remember the last three beads you picked 
which is that you picked up that last three that, that three beats and then you went into that bit so you don't count that one so you go in the middle um, of those three beats the middle beat of those three you go into it like that okay okay I'm just pulling my thread right now you go into that bit and again always you pick up three okay pick up three then you go on to the middle of the other three you picked okay so you go on to the middle beat or beat all the time okay I hope this is clear go into the middle beat all the time which is that beat always go into the middle beat okay so now um, we've got that um, this is the six we had so the other three is on this side it's on the left side and then the other three is on the right side so you go in the middle of the three that's on the right side okay so this is what you should have now you see you're starting to see progress okay you turn your project okay then you pick up four remember when you are on your edges you always pick up four when you are turning pick up four beads all the time and then you continue with your series of three beads okay then three then this is how you do the stitch this is how you do this is basically what you need then the rest um, will be your creativity um, when you're doing the patterns but I'm going to show you um, how to do a dice on this you can do a zigzag pattern you can do a dice pattern you can even write um, um, you can even write words with the stitch you can even write using this stitch up four beats again okay. so this is um, this is most important to note that when you are on your edges you pick up four beads you go on to the middle beads of the bead of the last um, three you picked all the time what I love about the stitch it's even easy um, to join it I'm gonna make another video showing you how to join the stitch when you are making um, like a headband um, it joins very smooth you can't even see where it joined I'm going to make a video showing you how to do that but now I um, want you to comment um, leave a comment below let me know what you think about this stitch um, it's very easy it's very easy and quick you can finish um, in Timbi and Togo in one day you can finish a headband in one day using this stitch quick quick it's very quick turn project go into that one okay. um this is um i love the stitch but not most not many people um always like to request it like to um, order it <clears throat> but i love it it's very easy it's not time consuming at all okay so now now that you've got the hang of it now that you know how to do the Zulu stitch now I'm going to show you how to um, start a dice all right how to start a dice okay okay so we need to get to the middle so the outside disadvantage of this it doesn't have a middle middle okay so your dice will slightly be on the side um there's nothing you can do about that that is how the stitch is dice like a loose versus so when doing your dice you need to pick up one of your color which is in this case it's blue one and then one um white whatever color you're going to um, use um, for, for your project so in this case it's um, one blue one white and one blue okay and then you continue as normal <clears throat> and then 
obtain your project after that okay pick up your full as normal okay sorry so now you are getting to where your dice is right i've got this habit of using my teeth when i am full i can't can help myself now you pick up one blue and two whites, okay? Because you are doing the dice. And then pick up two white and one blue. What happens on the right happens on the left. <clears throat> okay? So you should have a V looking thingy. Okay, then you continue. Turn your project. So now you pick up one like normal when you get to your dice. Pick up one blue and two whites. Okay. Then you are here now, and this means you pick up all white. It all depends if you're going to do a solid dice, which is an all white dice, then you pick up two and one blue. If you're going to do an all white dice, then um, this is how you will do it and this is what I'm going to show you when you do your um, your, whole, um, your solid dice okay we are learning the stitch now so your creativity will come last now because we're going we are going to be going into the white bead okay we need to extend our dice more okay so what you do you pick up two blue one oh sorry two blue and two white remember on the edges i said we turn with four beads so that means we pick up two blue and two white you go on to your first white bead gives us that smooth line there okay then we pick up all because we are doing a solid dice okay. we are doing a solid diamond normal pick up two and one all right okay at this point you've got a choice do you want to extend your dice or <coughs> sorry or do you want to turn but for the purpose of this video i'm going to um i'm going to close the dice this will be my corner okay i'm going to uh, close my diamond my corner this means I don't need to extend the dice now then I go I pick up all blue because that's my that's the corner of my um, diamond like that and then pick up all white right you will see why pick up all white we are closing now the diamond we are closing this dice okay okay when we are here pick up all white all right that's all right even okay remember i said we are closing this um dice now we are closing the diamond pick up all blue okay there's your all blue go into the middle um, white bead all right then you pick up all white we are closing now keep extending the side of your um, of your dice it keeps extending
and you pick up all three blue okay. pick up all three blue beads then you pick up all white now we're done with our dice close it there we go you see do you see what I'm seeing So then I'm done now, I think by now you see what I wanted to show you. Okay. Never mind how it looks there, but this is it. This is it, you just need to, because this one, um, this is not as tight as it would be if I wasn't doing a tutorial. Okay. But that basically is it. Alright. So let's just close it in so you can um, see it clearly. Let's just close it in. Okay. So that basically is it. This is what you needed. Right. <clears throat> there is your Zulu stitch tell me what you think about it um, let me know in the comments below if you want to show me to show you a video of how we join um, this project right thank you very much for watching please um, remember to click the like button um, click the subscribe button if you're not subscribed turn on the notification bell small bell there just click on it um, so that every time I post a video you will be notified and then you will jump into it and watch it. Alright, thank you very much. I hope this was useful. Let me know what you think in the